Hi, my name is Jackie Lee Price and welcome to Shadowboxer. Hi and welcome to Shadow Boxer. We have an exclusive here today with us. We have Carissa T-Rex Shields. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, so I'm, you're the undisputed uh, champion, middleweight champion of the world. Uh, so how's London treating you so far? It's been great. Like it's cold, but I love Nando's. Nando's is a really good food. Um, I've eaten at Cook Daily. They had a really good uh, noodle bowl there because I don't eat meat anymore. And um, I've just been like kind of going around. I went to a, uh, this girl named Talia Storm birthday party. Um, I've just been like seeing around. It's beautiful here, and I really like it. Like it's like a lot of good. It's like it's a lot of good scenery. Only thing I haven't done is took a, is took a picture in front of the, uh, in front of the Buckingham Palace yet. But I'm gonna do that tomorrow. <laughs> You're gonna do that before you leave. Yeah. So, so you uh, realistically, you should actually get some money from uh, Nando's for shouting them out. <laughs> yeah, Nando's, give me the black card. <laughs> I heard about that. <laughs> you heard it first. You heard it first. Today you went to uh, see uh, some soccer. Yeah. You were at the Chelsea game. So are you now uh, a Chelsea fan? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm, um, I can't. I've never watched uh, soccer over TV because it's like they're not scoring. I'm used to being basketball where they're going back and forth and scoring all the time. But being there in person is a different vibe you know it's like it's lit i guess i could say that like it was really live the fans were going crazy i got to see my first two goals today so it was great i, I enjoyed the game and who was that guy that invited you what <laughs> <laughs> there was some guy that you thanked he was quite cute no 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 that's marcos alonso he invited uh me richard uh, riapore and his uh his manager but no he just just some just no it's nothing no no, I'm just making up. I'm just making. <laughs> I'm just making up stuff. So, so you're here um, to help Hannah Rankin prepare for. Uh, is it the IBO um, defense title? And what's the other one? WB. WBC interim. So you're here helping her with the sparring, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. A couple of hours ago, we just did ten rounds. You won't believe it, but we did. <laughs> no, I can, actually can. <laughs> but so, how's that been going? Uh, it's been going great. Uh, she's in really good shape. She's strong. Uh, she's fixing a lot of her boxing. She's learning. And that's what I always wanted from her. Even when we boxed against each other, I just seen so much potential in her. And I, uh, and I told her that after the fight, like, you have a lot of potential, but be patient with yourself. You know, learn, you know, not just like spark, but learn. And she's a great learner. I mean, I saw her, the, uh, I think it was last week in Manchester when she was actually helping Chantel Cameron uh, prepare. And she was looking really, really strong, to be honest with you. What I thought was really nice of you, though, as an undisputed uh, world champion, helping her, um, you know, on the way up. Yeah, um, I, don't, I don't have as, as much beef as people put out there that I have. I'm, I'm really a good person. I love helping people. And she's a nice, genuine person. You know, she's not... Um, even when we were getting ready for our fight against each other, she was never mean to me, you know. And she's uh, respectful, and and we're and we're signed to the same promotion now. And I and I want to see her do well. So if her sparring me is going to make her be better, I'm all for that, and I'm all for women empowerment, 100%. percent. Oh, no, no, totally. I mean, I think it is a lovely because I don't think many people would do it, to be honest with you. No, a lot of these girls, they like secret haters, and they don't want to see you do well, and. Um, I know a girl. I know a girl who go and spar everybody who I'm getting ready to fight against, just out of her spite for me. <laughs> like Raquel Miller, that's what she do. She going, <laughs> she going spar everybody who I'm getting ready to fight, and she thinks, and it's like, look, you don't look, you don't have to spar them. I can whoop your ass too whenever you're ready. Um, but I'm not, I'm not a malice person like that. Like I want to see her do well. Um, me helping her has nothing to do with her opponent. It's something to do with me helping better her. And that's why I came in. I help her work on some stuff. Um, we have good talks after, but our sparring is very competitive. Very competitive. Yeah, I can imagine, actually. No, it's wonderful. And so you're one of the only seven boxers in history, aren't you, to hold a major world titles, the WBA, the WBC, IBF, and the WBO in nine fights. Yeah, in the ring belt. All of them in nine fights. I'm just... I'm the GWOP. That's what I am. Only, only greatest one of all time can do that. <laughs> Fantastic, though, in nine fights. I mean, that's absolutely impressive. And then last year, you defeated um, Hannah Gabriel. Is it Gabriel or Gabriel? Hannah Gabriel. Gabriel's. Yeah. And in a, a unanimous decision. Um, 
to take the WBA and the IBF uh, title. I mean, that bout was seemed to be one of the, the, the hardest bouts that you've ever had to date. No. French on Cruz is my hardest bout to date, and we only went four rounds. I think that people look at that fight, that they found out that, um, that, I, that I was actually a human because I got knocked down, but I'm a tough human. I got back up, and I won all the rounds after that. I don't really think it was as competitive as people uh, say, but... Um, all the respect in the world to Hannah Gabriels, and I wish her a speedy recovery on her torn uh, shoulder. I mean, in the first round, she came out of the gate pretty fast, didn't she? I mean, she really tried to put you under pressure, and then she did catch you with that, um, that uppercut. What did go through your mind, though, when you, when you reached the canvas? It didn't hurt, and that's what went through my mind. I kind of looked at both sides of the ring, and I was like, what the hell am I doing down here? But uh, I just got back up, took a few deep breaths, and went back to the box, and I, I feel like uh, I was winning around before I got knocked down. And then a knockdown came, and I still won the round after. Like, she didn't, um, she tried to jump on me, but I just started jabbing her and moving. And um, if you ask me, it was a 9-9 round, not even a 10-8, it really. I mean, you really switched your boxing brain on. I mean, beautiful um, um, counters, rapid speed, fantastic body shots as well. I mean, you, you really did show a lot, and the head movement. Yeah. Delicious, delicious, delicious head <laughs> movement. Um, I've always had head movement. I just use it. When my opponents, I guess, are worthy of it, if they're really good, I bring my A game. Like Christina Hammer was no slouch. I brought my A, I brought my A game. Excuse me, I brought my A game and um, destroyed her. Like that was my easiest fight to date, and she was supposed to be the toughest one. <laughs> so then you came up against uh, Christina Hammer uh, to unify the division, and um, you know you looked super confident, comfortable. Um, I'll be honest with you, she. She didn't look as tough as, as, as Gabriel. Nah, she wasn't. She wasn't, no. I mean, I think you said it in one of the interviews that uh, you thought that she was like one-dimensional. I mean, all she seemed to be working on was, you know, the jab, the jab, uh, uh, straight shots, and then you took that jab away, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I took the jab away with my head movement with the feints. Um, I threw some hard body shots in there whenever she missed. Um, I hit it to the head hard. I let her know, like, I can do what I want to do in here. I can drop my hands and still land on you. Um, I can, you can have the best jab in the world, but I got the best head movement in the world, so it's not going to happen. Um, I threw my combinations on her. I landed. Um, I really just broke Christina Hammer down mentally and physically every round. And I, and I really think she's going to retire because she hasn't fought since, since me and her fought. And not because she d d doesn't want to, but, well not, well, not because she can't get a fight, but because she doesn't want to. Um, I've had a dislocated knee. I've had a fight rescheduled. But she just kind of don't know how to take the loss and kind of being real sour about it, firing everybody on her team. And it's like, look, you win some. You lose some, but we live to fight another day. Like, don't take it so personal. But um, she just really thought that I was just a slouch, and she's going to come in there and just do me like the rest of those girls. And I, and I told her beforehand, I'm the GOAT, baby. I'm the greatest woman of all time. So you got to bring your A game, your A++ game if you want to beat me. And she just didn't bring it. Yeah, I mean, I think that, that it ended up being a lot of different levels, you know, massive levels between the two of you. And I think that um, the whole of the boxing world was definitely awoken that night. Um, but what I wanted to ask you is about, you know, there was a, quite a lot of criticism about your behaviour before the fight towards Hammer. I mean, do you think that there were double standards when it because, with regard to how men behave um, in boxing and versus how women behave? They're just not used to it, but it is what it is. Um, it was it was real beef, you know. Um, she didn't like me. I, I didn't like her at the time. And I was going to say and do whatever I wanted to do. So if she's going to talk trash to me and call me fat and say that, you know, I'm fat and that I, and, and that I can't make weight, I'm going to talk about her long-ass nose and her little-ass booty. So I can do and say what I want. And I, and, but mostly I, I try to keep it about boxing, like, oh, you know, you're not that fast and your jab is not that. Like, I try to keep, uh, keep it about boxing, but she was the one taking it personal. So if anybody gets personal with me, I get personal back. Like, that's just what it is. But um, I didn't try to shoot her, shoot, like, shoot too low. But trash talking is part of the game. And I wanted her to know, like, when we get in the ring, all this talking is going to go to a cease. So say what you want to say now, because when we get in the ring, I'm not saying nothing. Only thing I'm doing is letting my hands do the talking. And that's what I did. Well, most certainly did. You most certainly did. And then outside of boxing, I mean, as in the fighting, you're now commentating more, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've done some commentating. 
I may uh, be doing some stuff for the NBC Olympics for for the boxing, so I'm waiting to see if I get that job. But uh, other than that, yeah, I definitely got stuff going on out, um, outside the ring, um, especially like uh, community stuff in my community of uh, Flint, Michigan. Um, I've been kind of like laying low now, but because uh, it's a, it's a school year now, so the kids it's not the summer. But I had a great summer program um, over the. Over the summer, I, I was able to mentor 122 kids. All those kids are doing great. Some of those kids were getting bullied before they came to me. I taught them how to box. I taught them how to uh, express themselves better. And it was just a great program for me. It was just great to have that for the kids. I mean, one thing you can do is express yourself, and I wonder if that's sometimes a little bit of, I wouldn't call it a problem, but difficult for people to take that you are outspoken you are strong and you're confident and I think that sometimes that that is it's not accepted in women they're intimidated especially men and, and but you know what I'll say not only are the men intimidated but the women some women envy me because they wish that they could be as outspoken and, and as confident as I am and uh and my words to them is just do it you know don't worry about what nobody has to say about you and uh for me I just created my own lane and decided that, look, really trash talk is who I am. Like, being a fighter, a boxer, somebody who just love everything about herself and love the sport of boxing, that's who I am. So nothing is fake with me. You're not going to get me today and then get, you know, a soft-spoken Clarissa tomorrow. Like, this is me every day. This is who I am. And I'm not changing for nobody. Like, why would I change for anybody when I'm the only one in the ring taking the punches? Like, no, I'm not, I'm not going to let somebody dictate what a what a woman is or what a or, or what a strong woman is like listen i'm a strong powerful outspoken great boxing ass woman and they can either accept it but if they don't like me they're still going to tune into the fight just to cheer for my opponent to watch me lose so either way it goes i'm cool with all of it just make sure y'all turn your tv on and y'all buy the ticket and then y'all come to the fight <laughs> I, i'm not sure if they come to watch you lose because it's really and truly <laughs> I, I i i would doubt that i would doubt that you're a phenomenal woman, so I'm sure underneath it all, they're kind of like, you know, kind of like, wow, in all. I got, I got some haters, <laughs> for sure. I am, we all. <laughs> so we're talking about Flint, uh, Michigan. Um, how's the situation with the water and stuff there? It's getting better. We, we've been getting grants. They've been fixing the pipes. It's not all the way fixed, but it's, it's, it's getting there. It's getting there. Yeah, I mean, I saw a documentary on that, and I was like, this is unbelievable in this day and age. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy, but... That just shows when people try to be cheap and try to save money. You know, you can't be cheap when it when it, when it comes to people's lives and when it comes to like stuff like water. <laughs> like this is water we're talking about, and um, they could have spent the thirty five hundred dollars to get the water problem fixed, but instead they let it prolong and switch the water, and that's what made everything worse. But I think that um, everybody's still using bottled water right now, but the problem is slowly getting fixed. I mean, I think it'll be probably years, won't it, in order to get that sort of situation fixed? Yeah, it's going to take a while. I don't know how long, but as long as they're doing something gradually, I think one day we'll wake up and all the pipes will be fixed. <laughs> Do you know what? It's been an absolute pleasure um, to interview you. I think it's great what you're doing for female boxing. I think it's great what you're doing for, um, you're advocating for equal pay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Equal pay, equal TV time, equal promotion. That's what some of the girls before me forgot about. Everybody talking about equal pay, they got to remember it's equal promotion, equal pay, equal TV time. And when you start getting those up, it helps build your profile to where you can be able to say, hey, you need to pay more because I'm getting more views. You pay more because I have a bigger audience, you know, build their profiles up. And that's what I tell all the girls who come to me for advice in a, a, in a pros. Look, don't worry about what nobody's saying. Like, w women's boxing is not dead. Build your profile up, and when you get up there, you'll be able to get that big fight. Like, we have some kind of blueprint now. So the girls have to just work out the blueprint. So I bet the promoters love you that you're sharing all your business tips with the girls. <laughs> no, I mean... <laughs> Tell them that anyway, like keep building your keep building your profile. But um equal promotion. Like when I first turned pro, I think my first couple fights was, you know, I told everybody about it like a month before the fight. But the guys announced their fights two, three months before. And it's like, I, I need to do the same thing. So we gotta announce my fights earlier to get all my fans riled up, to make them thirsty for me to fight, and then they'll be tuning in and watching stuff like that. But you're giving people a month time to get ready, that's not enough. Not enough. 
And lastly, um, what is this about you wanting to uh, get in the ring with men? Are you, is that serious? I mean, first of all, I spar men all the time. Um, I spar some great guys who are world champions right now. Actually, my 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 sparring partner, Matt Korbov, who I've who I went 10, 12, eight rounds, whatever, with for a whole camp. It's, he's getting ready to fight against Chris Eubank Jr. So I know what I could do. It's about it's that's nothing with men being in, being intimidated. But they're gonna find out that as soon as the women start fighting the same amount of time and rounds as the men, that women can compete. That when it comes to skills, we are equal. We can be equal to the men. Now we may not be as strong, but the but the fastest horse don't always win a race. And the uh, strongest men don't, don't always lift the heaviest. So with that, just between me and you, have you whooped Matt's ass? Um, Matt Corboff moves really good. You know, and, and we and, and we had our back and forth. I'm not going to say I beat him up, but he definitely didn't beat me up. So <laughs> you have to see it to believe it. <laughs> I'd have looked to have been the one on the wall. Matt, Matt, <laughs> if you're watching. <laughs> yeah, Matt, um, you're fine against Chris Eubank, man. Do your thing, man. Do your thing. Thank you very much for the interview. It's um, been a, an absolute pleasure to meet you. Um, keep doing what you're doing. I will. I think uh, early January on Showtime. I believe January 11th. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you. No problem. You're welcome. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber of Shadowbox UK, we'd love to see you. So please go ahead and subscribe now.